So uh, 4680, um, the, this, is a, this is not an easy one to answer. Um, we, we are making a decent number every week. Giga Texas is expected to be able to produce 260,000 4680 battery packs on its own by 2023. Elon Musk says the new Texas-made 4680 cell is a Tesla exclusive, and it'll be the key to help lower the price of Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi by tens of thousands of dollars. So, how are they going to pull this off? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. And then long term, we're uh, expecting to make on the order of uh, 3000 gigawatt hours or, or 3 terawatt hours per year. I think we can, well, I think we've got a good chance of, of achieving this actually before 2030. Tesla aims to start ramping 4680 cell production at Gigafactory Texas by the end of the third quarter. Tesla hopes the battery factory in Austin can exceed the weekly output of Fremont's Cato Road facility by the end of 2022. As of January, Fremont's Cato Road facility has produced 1 million 4680 cells. At roughly 1,000 cells per car, 1 million cells are enough for about 1,000 Model Y vehicles. Besides that, in a reply to a question from an investor regarding the 4680 production ramp at Giga Texas, Buglino, that's Drew Buglino, said Tesla expects the facility to make enough cells for more than a thousand battery packs per week by year's end. By 2023, the capacity of this factory can be up to 5,000 battery packs per week, which means 260,000 battery packs per year. This makes it possible for Giga Texas to outpace the Fremont test plant next year. It's a cylindrical form, form factor, but the internals of the battery are quite different from what you would find in, uh, in a laptop. And, uh, and, and, and will be increasingly different with the, what's built at the Giga factory, which is highly optimized for automotive. So what's so special about the new battery packs that are being produced at Giga Texas? A Texas-made Tesla Model Y with old 4680 battery cells has been able to complete a charging session to 80% in 32 minutes, but the new 4680 battery charges in less than 4 minutes at its quickest rate. This battery has a 60% increase in efficiency, which means your Tesla can go about 721 kilometers on a single charge. For comparison, next-gen BMW EVs are getting new battery tech to reach a peak range of 620 kilometers for its top i7 sedan with 30 minutes charging. Consequently, Tesla consistently outperforms other automakers. Elon Musk says new battery cells using proprietary technology are highly anticipated because they can significantly reduce car prices. Just like the previous reports, Monroe Live confirms a rather thick piece of steel for the enclosure, which is most likely crucial to make a cell a structural element of the entire car. Inside, there is the tabless design battery with aluminum and copper flowers, which are kind of inversed. Tesla's solution is pretty complex as it engaged a completely new manufacturing approach, both in terms of cell assembly and welding, as well as production of the electrode active materials. The graphite anode already uses dry battery electrode technology. Considering what we saw so far, it seems that it's still an early series production version, which might be further improved, but that's not a surprise. Tesla is known for the constant improvements applied to its products. The dry coating process is the most challenging part of the 4680 cost reduction, and that is why Tesla started with the price cuts it can achieve fairly easily. The price of the battery pack will be reduced by 50% Thanks to this technology, the current 4680 battery costs about $12.21 per kilowatt hour. So the price of a new battery will drop to just $6 and a little bit over one cent per kilowatt hour. One of the experts said, bulking up the battery cell helped a lot in boosting efficiency, but pushing for a 50% cost savings for the cell as a whole is another matter. That will depend on whether Tesla can deploy the dry coating process successfully in a factory. That technology allows Tesla to eliminate the more complex and costly wet coating process used in traditional battery cells like the 2170 cells Tesla has been using for years. That process is expensive because it needs a substantial amount of electricity, machinery, factory space, 
time, and a large number of workers. With the new technology, electrodes are coated using different binders that use much less liquid. That means they don't need to be dried, so the whole process is cheaper, faster, and less harmful to the environment. Because of its simplicity, the process allows Tesla to cut cap capital spending by a third and slash both the footprint of a factory and its energy consumption to just 10% of what is needed for the wet process. In conclusion, batteries make up between 30 to 40% of the cost of an EV. The dry coating technique is at the center of the effort to reduce expenses for the Cybertruck and Tesla Semi. Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck back in November of 2019. Since then, the vehicle has amassed over 1 million reservations with some estimates pushing the reservation number as high as 3 million. It creates a strong attraction for pickup truck enthusiasts. Supplier leaks have even pushed out the start of Cybertruck production to the end of 2023 with first deliveries not coming until early 2024. Perhaps Tesla wants to utilize this new 4680 battery for Cybertruck to keep costs down, which is why there has been a delay. It is expected that the widespread use of the 4680 cells would cut the cost of the battery pack for a Cybertruck and Tesla Semi in half and allow the company to lower the cost of the cars by 10% or about $5,000 to $15,000. With basic math, the Cybertruck dual motor all-wheel drive version starts at $49,900 and the top-of-the-line tri-motor Cybertruck costs $69,900, so the price will be reduced to $44,910 and $62,910. $2,910, respectively, excluding tax credits. Moreover, mastering the dry coating process for the 4680 electrodes would pave the way for future Teslas to qualify for the government's new $7,500 subsidy en masse. For qualifying buyers, this would mean a good $14,490 Cybertruck Tri-Motor price reduction from its current $69,990 starting tag and could happen as soon as next year. The Tesla Semi is also a vehicle that has received a lot of anticipation and will be officially launched in 2023. For the $150,000 Tesla Semi, 10% off means you only pay $135,000, and $15,000 is truly a telling discount. So, do you think that the Tesla Semi or the Cybertruck will be given priority to use this new 4680 battery first? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.